Today for Slim 4 Authentication, we're gonna set up better debugging. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna to go to our composer.json. And then within our composer.json, we need to add this arrow, up arrow, in our Illuminate support package. That'll allow us to install this next package. And that is going to be zoox or zoox iso slash slim whoops. This will allow us to set up a really cool debug page whenever we have errors. After that, we'll of course run composer install. Once composer has successfully installed our new package, we're simply going to go to our app providers, air middleware service provider. And what we're going to do is we're going to say this app, and then we're going to add just a normal middleware. But this normal middleware is actually going to be a new whoops middleware class that we'll be able to import now. Once we import that and add that as our global middleware, we need to remove Slim's default global middleware. So we'll comment that out and then we'll go back here and check this out. This is really cool. We reload it and here is our official new Slim whoops page. This is our, our, uh, our new air page. So we have our frames on the left side. So this is showing you like the path that the code took. Here's our environment and details information. Here's the specific line of code, which is the middleware routing middleware, and then the error itself up here, or the exception thrown. And that is 404 not found because we don't have a route defined as that. If we go to slash something like that, we do have a route, it works properly. So this is our new error page, guys. Up next, we're actually gonna set up a uh, our environment variables. And the reason being is because we want to do something like this. We want to do if env app debug equals true, then do this. Otherwise, don't add that middleware. Uh, we could add that to our config, but there's several reasons we want to add it to a .env file that is also ignored by Git, and we will set that up in the next video. So for now, let's just get rid of that if statement, and we will get rid of that commented out section. On top of that, we will go to our config and we will get rid of our middleware file all together. We are no longer using it, so now we only have three config options, app, blade, and routing. So guys, in the next video, we will set up our ENV, and then within our ENV, we will set up the option to debug, and then after that, we'll actually get on to setting up a kernel, and then in the video after that, we are for sure getting on to Eloquent. Separate.